على مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Ramadan's competition, A Story and an Ayah. Today is the sixth episode and the Surah Al-Imran and the story of wife of Imran. So, Abu Mama said he heard God's messenger say, recite the Quran, for on the day of resurrection it will come as an intercessor for those who recite it. Recite the two shining ones, Baqarah and Surah Al-Imran. For on the day of resurrection they will come as two clouds, or two shades, or two flocks of birds in ranks, pleading for those who recite them. Recite Surah Al-Baqarah, for using it produces blessing, and abandoning it produces regret, and the slothful are unable to recite it. The will of Allah Almighty of choosing people since the beginning of creation. Allah has chosen Adam, peace be upon him, and commanded the angels to prostrate to him. He chose Noah as a messenger for the people and saved him and those with him on the ship. He chose Abraham السلام, and made his close friend Allah, made him the father of the prophets and made of his descendants many prophets. And among those whom Allah Almighty chose the family of Imran. Imran was the grandfather of Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, and the father of his mother, Maryam. Imran was a righteous man from the children of Israel and she was sterile and could not give birth. So she called Allah to give her a son. Soon she became a pregnant woman. So she vowed this child to be in the service of Jerusalem. But when she delivered the birth, she was surprised. This baby came to be female, not male, as she ho- had hoped. She accepted Allah's judgment and named her Maryam. Allah Almighty accepted her vow and made Mary one of the righteous and Prophet Zachariah guaranteed her with care. Prophet Zachariah was astonished at the presence of winter fruits at the time of summer and summer fruits at the time of winter. And he asked her, how had you brought this fruit at a different time? And she replied, this is from Allah. Allah blesses whomever he wills without being counted. We learn this from the story, that the goodness of children may be from the goodness of fathers and mothers, and the importance of parents' prayer for children and wishing them good, that God is the provider, and he, glory be to him, provides for whom he wills without being counted. So today's question is, there are some verses in Surah Al-Imran that describe the story of Umm Maryam, wife of Imran. Mention the numbers of these verses. فتمسكي بعراه كي لها 